What's up everybody? It's April Laura, your Florida Realtor, right here in Port St. Lucie in new construction. And this is a small little development. It's gonna go fast. I can't wait to tell you about it. So the name of this community is Mosaic and it is by Coulter Homes. Coulter is a very reputable builder here. It's actually one of my preferred that I like to show in and sell in because I think their quality is at the level. And um, I love this community because they have nine model homes to choose from, but they also have a lot of optional upgrades and a lot of ways to increase the square footage and number of rooms in the homes. They start at a 2-2 with a flex room and they go all the way up to a 3-3 with a flex room but then again there's options to add rooms and things like that. I wasn't able to get all of that information from the salesperson here because it was so busy. There was a group of people when I came in and there were several people that were walking in. So this community is going to sell out fairly quickly. Not just because it's brand new but I think because of the location and the price point. The base pr price starts at about $458,990. That's not including the lot or any optional upgrades and or if you want a pool, obviously. The lots run from $25,000 to $50,000. There pretty much aren't any water lots in this small development. not have any neighbors behind you you have a beautiful nature preserve behind you and I think for the price point which starts at 458 990 and then it goes all the way up to 582 990 again not including the lot not including uh, upgrades and not including any pools pools right now they're averaging around a hundred to 150,000 extra and you can um, have that as an option they can help you with that but um, just for your knowledge, that's kind of where we're at. What I love about this location is that it is right off of Becker Road, which is gonna be more on the south part of the county in Port St. Lucie. In fact, I just ran into a really nice couple. They're down here because their daughter and her family moved into Port St. Lucie and she had to bring some extra furnishings and things like that. And of course, she wants to move closer to her daughter. What she liked was the same thing that I liked about this location. It's further south, so you're gonna be closer to Palm Beach County, Stewart, all the very mature downtown areas, and you are also closer to the water. So in order to get to the water from this location, you're only about 20 minutes at the most. You can go north or south, you have two different access roads to get over to the beach. So that's definitely an advantage. She tells me that her daughter that just moved in, even though they're in west, and northern part of Port St. Lucie, they still come down to Stewart all the time because again, it's a mature little downtown area with several different shops and it's very walkable. You can walk around, you can listen to live music that they have sometimes during the weekends in the outdoor area. You can, you know, kind of walk around and see the retail shops and just have a really good day. Now, I jotted down some notes to pass along to you. I was just with the salesperson and you should know it is a small community. It's only 238 total homes they opened up July 22nd, 2023. They've sold three and they're expecting three more contracts within the next couple days. Some perks about this development is that they have hurricane impact windows and doors throughout. There is 11 foot, four inch ceilings in the main living and also in the owner's suite. And then in some models, you will have up to 15 foot entry level areas. And of course, anywhere you see a tray ceiling in the model homes, that is supposed to be there, it's not extra. Now, of course, when we tour the model homes, you're gonna see a lot of beautiful upgrades. That's how it always is in new construction and new developments because they wanna entice you and they want you you know, to have that new car smell and buy into it, which you know, we all are suckers for that because it's beautiful. I can give you more information on kind of what's standard, but what you should expect is normally the average buyer spends about 10% to 20% of the purchase price in options. So of course you'll go into contract and then you'll have your options, upgrades, appointment later, several weeks later or what have you. And then, you know, they'll price that out. Now the build time is about nine to 11 months, but it's funny, they have what they're called the mosaic VIPs, which have two choices. So you either have 
a choice from build from scratch, which is nine to 11 months. And of course you build your home from scratch, you pick the model, you pick the lot, you do all of the things. Or if you're in a hurry, there is something called the Founders Club. The Founders Club sounds to me like it's more spec home. So these are homes that Coulter and Mosaic have chosen. They're probably their best selling models. And they've picked out probably the most popular options. And they've gone ahead and they've actually done 12 homes that are gonna be ready either in September 2023 or October. Those are gonna be kind of more ready to go and it says they can be available within two to four months. So if you have a very tight timeline and you need to get into something quickly, that's a great option. If you do have time and you're like, no, I want to pick all of my options and pick my home and my lot, et cetera, et cetera, then you have that too. But I suspect probably not for very long because again, 238 homes and they're already selling and it's pretty popular and for this price point you just and the proximity the location I think it's gonna sell like hotcakes quite frankly hey I'm not sure if you're new to my channel but if you want to know everything there is about moving or living in Florida then make sure you give us a call send us a text shoot us an email we get calls text messages and emails every single day and we absolutely love it okay getting into other fees that you should know when you um, are looking for a new construction or this development in particular um, let's talk about the HOA so there's gonna be a beautiful resort style pool there's also going to be a clubhouse, fitness center, and pickleball courts. So it's not like a huge amenity area. It is a smaller development, but if you don't need all of the, you know, extraordinary clubhouse and amenities, then I think this is a really good pick. And the HOA is priced at $245.51 per month, which includes landscape and maintenance of irrigation on individual homes and the common areas throughout the community, the amenity center, fitness center, resort style pool, and pickleball court. There is a CDD in this community. So it is priced at 2,300 per year. That is gonna go through your tax bill. That's for 30 years. So that will stay with the property unless you choose to pay it off earlier. So how that works is if you decide like, hey, this is gonna be my forever home, nothing's changing, I'm gonna own it for at least 10 years or more, then it might be advantageous to go down to the county and find out how much it would be to pay that off because that $2,300 a year is with interest. She did not share with me exactly how much. I don't think she even knew. Again, new community and she was fairly new here, but just from experience, I know that you can do that and usually it's a huge savings. Um, so that's just something that you can choose to do. Now, you should know that Poor St. Lucie property taxes are higher than the surrounding areas and even when you go south into Palm Beach County, Broward, and Miami. And that's because Port St. Lucie is a very big county. The infrastructure just wasn't there and there's there weren't enough residents in the county to make it lower. So that might change in the future, but as of now, it's about 2% of 85% of like the purchase price. So if you look on your tax bill, you'll see the assessed value and that assessed value is already about 85% of the purchase price. So it's gonna be roughly around 2% of that assessed value. Give me a call if you need more explanation on that. Um, if you live in Florida, there is something called portability. It's a way to move your base price tax basis to your new home. So again, if you need more information on that and you only if you live in Florida, you can't do that if you live in another state, so let me know if you know, need more information on portability. The last fee you need to know is of course home insurance, which is all the rave right now because home insurance in South Florida especially and in Florida in general has really skyrocketed in the last several months. But what you should know is that it's pretty low when it comes to brand new construction and here you are getting everything you need as far as all the highest regulations of home building plus hurricane impact windows and doors. So you basically can't get better rates in home insurance than in new construction just like this. Now, with all that being said, let's go check out these models. <clears throat> what a... <laughs>
So I just came out of the page and these are gorgeous homes, guys. Um, I really like the outside of the page and it's a very large home, got some extra space on the second floor if you have a large family or you just need room for guests or entertaining. And um, I'm gonna go and see the other two, but if this information is helpful, please drop me a like and give me a comment. Let me know anything else you'd like to see in the area.
But in order to find that perfect place that you may be thinking of or wanting to go see, make sure you give me a call, send me a text, shoot me an email, send me smoke signals, somehow get in touch with us because we've got your back when you move to Florida. And until next time, I'll catch you later. Oh, okay.